Rim Country News brought to you by Christine Croak, your Rim Country real estate expert. On this Monday, October 19th, for Tano TV, KRIM Radio News, and Global Trails Media, I'm Randy Roberson with your Rim Country news headlines. Police in the southern Gila County city of Globe are warning all county residents of a phone scam that threatens to drain your bank account. They say citizens have been receiving scam text messages advising they've received a direct deposit of $1,200 from the COVID-19 Treasury Fund. The message goes on to say that further action is required to accept this payment into your account. A web link is provided that directs you to a website and asks you to input your bank account information. You need to know this is a scam. Once you provide that information, the scammers will have access to your bank account and will withdraw all your money. Officials advise if you do receive this text message, do not click on the link or provide any personal information. Instead, contact your local police or sheriff's department. Well, taking a look at other news from around Rim Country, Sheriff Adam Shepard recently retrofitted the Gila County Jails with the new Guardian RFID, or Radio Frequency Identification Device, system. Now, that allows for better inmate as well as detention officer accountability. The RFID system tracks inmate movement through the use of chipped ID wristbands as well as chip sensors throughout the facility. The Guardian system not only allows the user to track inmate movement, but also tracks security checks and other daily inmate activities. And in other news from up on top of the rim, a hunter found human remains up near Flagstaff earlier this month, and detectives are now investigating that incident as a homicide. Coconino County Sheriff's Office officials say the hunter reported to authorities on October 3rd after finding, quote, suspicious bones, possibly human remains. That along State Route 180, north of the Baderville neighborhood area. Detectives on scene determined that the remains were that of a man. Sheriff's officials say they are investigating this as a homicide after finding, quote, suspicious circumstances were involved. Well, the identification of the victim is underway by the Coconino County Medical Examiner's Office. Officials say the body of the man is approximately 5 foot 10 to 6 foot 1 inches high with a non-muscular build, possibly 35 to 55 years of age. The victim was wearing a t-shirt, dark colored shorts with a black leather belt that had a black nylon utility pouch on it, and he was also wearing sandals. If anyone has information that can assist in identifying this person and or the events leading up to his death, you're asked to please contact the Coconino County Sheriff's Office at 928-774-4523 or you can call Silent Witness at 928-774-6111. And in other forest news, the Southwest Area Type 1 Incident Management Team assumed command of the horse fire yesterday with additional firefighters and support equipment arriving in Crown King. The horse fire is actively burning northwest of Crown King and about 18 miles south of Prescott in a very remote area of the Prescott National Forest. Now they say with brush as high as 8 feet, dense vegetation, steep terrain and limited access options, firefighters cannot be placed directly in front of the fire. Aircraft is and has been aggressively being used since the fire began on Thursday in order to attain full suppression. Firefighters are working currently to create protection for the communities of Crown King, Minnehaha, Cleeter, Black Canyon City, Groom Creek, Ponderosa Park, Walker, Potato Patch, Pine Flat, Breezy Pines, Lookout Mountain, Wilhoit, Wagner, Walnut Grove, as well as Prescott. Additionally, crews are working to safeguard critical infrastructure like communication towers, APS power lines, lookout towers, transportation systems, and that's like roads and bridges. All roads leading into Crown King have been closed. Well, coming up in Rim Country weather, get ready for a big cool down. We have the details for you coming up next. You're watching Rim Country News. The past seven months have been difficult on all of us. Our circumstances demanded immediate change that impacted our entire community. 
Distance learning has been really challenging, but I'm so thankful for my parents and teachers working so hard to help us. Thank you teachers for continuing to do all that you have to support and encourage our children to move forward in this difficult time. Parents and families, we understand how difficult this time has been for both you and your students, and we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. After all this time, we are so excited for our children to reconnect with their amazing teachers and their friends. We are a community of resilience, and we're coming back stronger than we have ever been. Being a Longhorn represents pride, courage, unity, and the ability to overcome anything as a family. We want to thank our schools and parents for working so hard to continue our education. We are so grateful to finally be back together. Well, taking a look at Rim Country weather, dry weather with cool mornings and warm afternoons will continue through Thursday. You can expect breezy west to southwest winds each afternoon. The upcoming weekend, however, could bring very gusty winds and much cooler temperatures, especially compared to today. A dry shortwave trough is poised to pass over the southwest late Wednesday into Thursday. Winds will be strongest this work week on Thursday afternoon. Now behind that dry shortwave trough, a cooler air mass aloft and decreasing heights will prompt a cooling trend from Friday in through the weekend. By Sunday, temperatures could be 10 to 15 degrees cooler compared to today. Daytime highs in the greater Payson area today should be right around 85 degrees, but those highs will be cooling off to around 68 by Sunday. That's a nice cool down. Up on top of the rim, they're expecting a high near 75 today. Their highs will cool off to the upper 50s by late this weekend. And our neighbors to the south end, Tano Basin, where they've been staying pretty toasty lately. Your highs today should be right around 94 degrees, but by Sunday, your highs should only be around 78 degrees. So some much cooler temperatures headed your way as well. And that's what's happening around Rim Country. For Tano TV, K-Rim Radio News, and Global Trails Media, I'm Randy Roberson. Make it a great Monday. If you talk to me, we'll hear you. We all want our kids to grow up safe and healthy. So we show them how, and we tell them with honest conversations that let them know what we expect. Not just one time, but every chance we get. That's especially important when it comes to alcohol and other drugs. Kids not only need to know the dangers and how to avoid them, they need to hear it often from you. And when it comes to pain medications, opioids, they need to know that they should never be taken without a prescription and never shared with friends or family. It's dangerous and illegal. So talk with your kids and guide them through the challenges of growing up safe and healthy. Because when you talk, they hear you. For more information about talking with your kids about underage use of alcohol and other drugs, visit underagedrinking.samhsa.gov. So talk